Yo, what is up guys? Brandon here from Red Black Productions and today I'm going to teach you how to create that sliding letterbox effect or cinematic widescreen effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So pretty much what this effect allows us to do is we want two black bars to come from the top and the bottom to crop off our video so it shows that we have a more serious and widescreen effect. So to do that, it's pretty much exactly the same as keyframing. So we have our point or our frame where we want our video to begin. Let's have the black box come in over here. So let's go to our inspector window on the top right hand corner and click on video tab. Now much like our keyframing, instead of clicking on transform, we're going to go and click on crop. So make sure we click on show crop. Now exactly the same, we're going to go and click on all of these buttons. All four of these, just go and click. Now let's go and find the next frame where we want it to come in. Let's say, let's say over here. So we're going to go and click on all four of these again. But this time, we're going to go on our top and let's go and bring it down. Now as you can see, as I'm bringing down the top, we'll see on the video, it's cropping off the top. So let's say, let's say we want it drastic but not too drastic. Let's say 235, that looks good. Now for the bottom, we're going to make sure it's exactly the same as the top. So we go to 235. Alright, let's, let's make it a bit more. And there we go, we're pretty much done. So let's go and watch our video. Alright, so there we go. We got two black bars coming from the top and the bottom to show a more cinematic widescreen effect. So that's pretty much how to create that sliding letterbox or cinematic widescreen effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So if you found this video helpful, feel free to leave a comment down below, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!